Hello, everyone. My name is Makoto, a software engineer in TensorFlow Enterprise as a part of Google Cloud. Now that we have seen the great story about TensorFlow in production at work and its cool use cases even in space, now I'm to go going to talk about the enterprise-ready application with TensorFlow Enterprise. So what does it mean to be TensorFlow Enterprise? What is so different? What is so difficult? Well, after talking to many customers, we have identified a couple of key challenges when it, when it comes to enterprise-grade ML. First is the scale and the performance. When it comes to production grade enterprise applications, often, oftentimes the size of data, the scale of a model is beyond what, what fits into my laptop or workstations. As a result, you know, we need to think about this problem differently. Second is the manageability. When developing business applications, it is better to not to have to worry about any you know, nitty gritty details of infrastructure, infrastructure complexity, including managing software environment and managing multiple machines in clusters and whatnot. Instead, it is desirable to only have to concentrate on the core business logic of your machine learning applications so that it makes the most benefit to your business. Third is the support. If your application is business critical and mission critical, the timely resolution to the bugs and issues and a commitment to stable support for applications is essential to continue operating your applications. TensorFlow Enterprise brings a solution to those challenges. Let's take a look at the cloud scale performance. In a nutshell, with TensorFlow Enterprise, we compile and ship a special build of TensorFlow, specifically optimized for Google Cloud. It is purely based on the open source TensorFlow, but it also contains a specialized uh, optimization specifically for Google Cloud machines and services in the form of patches and add-ons. Let's take a look at how, how it looks like in practice. This code trains a model with potentially very large training data that may be a terabyte of data maintaining Google Cloud storage. As you see it, it is no different from any typical TensorFlow code written, in, written with the dataset APIs except the path to the training file is pointing to the Google Cloud Storage. Under the hood, the optimized I.O. reader specifically made for Google Cloud Storage is it, making this performance even with terabyte of training data and make your training very performant. This is another example that with training data sets from BigQuery table, which is the data warehouse, which may maintain 100 millions of data, business data, data warehouse. This example is a little bit more involved, but still similar to the standard dataset API that you, all of you are familiar with. So that, you know, that your model can still train in your familiar ways, but under the hood, the optimized I.O. of a Google a BigQuery can read many, many millions of rows in parallel in, a, in an efficient way and turn into tensor so that you, your, your training can continue with the performance. This is a little comparison of the throughput when large data is read from Google Cloud Storage with or without optimization that TensorFlow Enterprise brought in. As you see it, there is a nice throughput gain. The better I.O. throughput performance actually translates into the better utilization of processors such as CPUs and GPUs because I.O. is no longer the bottleneck of the entire training. What it means is your, your, your training finishes faster and, and your training wall time is shorter. As a result, your, your cost of training is actually cheaper because the, com the compute cost is proportionate to the wall time that you, know, you use the compute resources. Now that you get some, idea, some ideas about what kind of optimization we were able to make to TensorFlow, specifically for Google Cloud, let's see how you actually get it and how you actually take the benefit of it. We do this through managed services. We deliver TensorFlow Enterprise through a managed environment, which we call a deep learning virtually virtual machine images and container images, where all the environment is pre-managed and pre-configured on top of standard Linux distributions. Most important is it has TensorFlow Enterprise build pre-installed together with all the dependencies, including device drivers and a dependency Python package with correct version combinations or whatnot, as well as configuration to the other services in Google Cloud. Because this is just a normal virtual machine image or container images, you can actually deploy, deploy it in many different ways in, Google, in, in cloud. Regardless of where you deploy it or how you deploy it, the TensorFlow Enterprise optimization is just there, so you can take the benefit of all the good performance. To get started, you only have to pick the TensorFlow Enterprise image and the desired resources, such as CPUs and RAM, or, or optionally GPUs. Start the virtual machine in just one command. And the next moment, 
you can already SSH the machine that has TensorFlow Enterprise build already pre-installed and pre-configured, and it's ready to use, so that you can start immediately start writing your, your code in the machine. If you prefer a notebook environment, Jupyter Lab is hosted and already started on the VM, actually. So only thing you have to do is you, you, you have to point, you, know, you only have to point your browser to the VM and open up the Jupyter Lab and open up a notebook so that you can start writing your, your TensorFlow code, taking the benefit of TensorFlow Enterprise. Once you have the satisfactory model after many iterations of experimentations, now is the time to train your model at the full scale. It may not fit into the one machine, and you may want to take the advantage of the distributed training facility that TensorFlow offers, so that you know, so that it can support the large scale of data in the model. For this, AI platform training is a managed service that takes care, takes care of the distributed training clusters and all other infrastructure complexities on behalf of you. More importantly, it drives the same TensorFlow Enterprise container image, which is exactly the same environment you have used to build your actual model. So you can be confident that your model just trains with full scale of data under the managed training service. You simply need to overlay your application code on top of the TF Enterprise container image, then issue one command to start a distributed training cluster. This example, is grabbing a 10 workers with larger machines per each worker with eight GPUs attached to each worker to train potentially very really large data set for, for, for your real applications. This example brings up a distributed training cluster with all TensorFlow enterprise op optimization included with 10 worker distributions. Now that you can train your model in a full enterprise scale, it is a time to make it an end-to-end -end pipeline to com continue running it in production, taking advantage of AI platform pipelines and TensorFlow Extended. AI platform pipelines is actually hosted on the Kubernetes engine. What does that mean is it can also drive the exactly same TensorFlow Enterprise container image so that all the optimization is still there. And you can still be confident that your application the pipeline just runs because it is all the same environment. After end-to-end -end application runs in production, the enterprise-grade support becomes essential to mitigate any risk of interruption operation and also to continue operating your application in a business-critical business, business critical manner. Our way to mitigate this risk is to provide long-term support. With open source TensorFlow, we typically offer one year of maintenance window. For TensorFlow Enterprise, we provide three years of support that includes critical bug fixes and security patches, and additionally, and optionally, you know, we may backport the certain functionalities and features from the future release of TensorFlow as we see demand. As of today, we have TensorFlow Enterprise uh, version 1.15 and 2.1 as a long-term supported versions. If your business is pushing the boundary of AI and uh, your, your business is sitting at the cutting edge of AI where novel application and use cases are critical to your, your business model, and also your business is heavily relying on being able to continue innovating on this space, we actually want to work with you through the White Glove Service Program. We, engineers of, and creators of both TensorFlow and Google Cloud, are willing to work with you, work with your engineers and your data scientists to mitigate any future bugs and issues that we may not have seen yet to support your cutting edge applications. To, and block you as well as and together advance your applications as well as TensorFlow and TensorFlow Enterprise as a whole. Please check out the website and, and see for detail of this pro, uh, white glove service program. Looking ahead, we are really excited to keep working tightly together between TensorFlow teams and Google Cloud teams. As being the creator and expert and owner of the both products, we continue to make the optimization and improvement to TensorFlow for Google Cloud. That includes better monitoring and, a, and a debugging capabilities to your, your TensorFlow code that runs in cloud, as well as integration into the, in, in, integration of this, this capability into your, your Google Cloud tooling for the better pro, uh, product, uh, productivity of your application. We're also looking at a uh, smooth integration between TensorFlow popular high-level APIs such as Keras or Keras Tuners and, and managed training services, as well as even more managed services such as and a continuous on TensorFlow, TensorFlow Dev for the purpose of coherent and a joyful developer experiences. Please stay tuned. This concludes my talk about TensorFlow Enterprise. For more information and for details, please do check out the website. Thank you very much.